So guys, it's time to just get a little bit more technical just now. I'm here joined by uh, Noah Hoffman, product development engineer at Nash. And uh, yeah, welcome brother. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm not that technical myself, so maybe you can explain me a little bit more about what you actually do here at Nash. Yeah, for Nash I uh, focused mostly on the wings and the foils, and then a big project since I started was the Kite Bar. That's a new sync control system. Um, not only like finishing it, for me is cool to be able to ride it and stuff, but seeing all the people who are good like you and go huge on it, it's like such a good feeling getting a product and finishing a product and then seeing other people enjoy it. It's and like, why did this product in particular take you so long to get yeah, perfect? Um, well, it's because we started from scratch. So a lot of people will take their old bar and put a new quick release on it, a new power system, and it doesn't take as long. But we really wanted to redevelop the bar from, from zero and it allowed us to really focus on each element of the bar. So we made the floaters look how we wanted them to. We kind of kept the whole design principle to be like light and efficient and like take things out that we didn't need and add things like in to make it as yeah clean as possible. What have been some of the biggest challenges and biggest innovations in this bar? Um, the quick release is definitely the biggest one. We wanted to make sure it was as safe as possible. Yeah, so a big challenge was the, um, basically the release and the reload. Um, we wanted to incorporate the one click in that a lot of people are doing so that it's, it opens easy and reloads easy. Like and it has belt. a nice, like a seatbelt, exactly. Um, a big thing that's different with our quick release to other people's is that we decided to go with an all metal system. So they no longer have the elastic bungees that the other brands are using. The big kind of driving force for this was that we wanted to make sure that over time, the system stayed the same. So with the bungee overuse and with the UV and the salt environments, they break down over time. And then all of a sudden they'll break. But with the spring, you know, the material selection was key to make sure they don't corrode. And then the design was super fine trying to find the right zone. Um, but with the springs, you can basically use them and they stay the same. They have the same force from the day you get the bar to the day you throw the bar in the trash because it's turned it. to dust. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so you move on to the next one, exactly. Um, but that was kind of the design principle. Is like we wanted to make sure that this piece always operated 100% of the time. So with a new bar, I see uh, something very unique on this sink bar. What is that middle part, man? So this is our way of accomplishing auto swivel. Uh, a lot of the issues that we heard from our team riders and the reason they didn't like auto swivel systems is because when they're doing the big loops, they pull, pull fully and then they can't, they have a stick when they sheet in and out. Um, so it, gets stuck, it gets stuck, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So they yeah, have to release their steering and then depower and then catch yeah. themselves. So what we wanted to come up with was an auto civil system that still functioned like it was two power line bar. So like our, our, our torque system. Um, that had like super, it was super free and super easy to use, and then you get all the benefits of not having to deal with untangling your lines all session. Yeah, that's so annoying. Like untangling yeah. every time after every rotation you do. So I think you see the the, the swivel is in here, and that yes. that just keeps it absolutely straight. Absolutely straight, exactly. So, and so, functioning. And functioning. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, took a lot to make right all the shaping and um, and yeah, the design process was tricky because if you have too much space, the auto civil doesn't work. If you have too little space, then it gets sticky and it's a pointless yeah. system. So all through the different iterations, it, it took a lot to get it to where it is. And yeah, we're all super stoked on how it come, came out. So a bit about the Nash bars, I'm not sure if you know, but we put a piece of EVA underneath to add some shape so that it fits your hands really well. And then it's also rolled like 15 degrees forward. So when you have the bar backwards, it hits a different part of your hand. And the more you kite, the more you like get used to the feeling. So if you like have a big crash or something and you grab your bar to recover, you can feel the, the difference between each side. Sick. So it's a way for people to... Very intuitive, like, even yeah, when you're not looking, like it, you can know yeah. what the right side of your bar yeah, is. Yeah, so not, like for people, maybe not beginners because mm -hmm. they don't know <laughs> what the kite feels like or the bar feels like to begin with, but yeah. One thing that I've always ran into um, no matter what kind I fly, I feel if it pulls one millimeter to the left or one millimeter to the right, and it just always pisses me off. Like yeah. you can ask Aaron or anyone, I always land my kite like 10 times and then I <laughs> put like one, or I even put some little seaweed in between my freaking pigtail <laughs> just to make my bar straight. Just to make it perfect, yeah. Is this thing straight or not? Yes, oh, yeah, super straight. Me up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess we can talk about the lines next. To make it straight from the factory, we worked kind of a lot on this, how they rig it up 
and then for the line set we chose we wanted to make sure that it stays the same over time so uh, we went with the SK99 line from Braid Tech with uh, stronger front lines than back lines I guess not strong it's a bit thicker mm -hmm. so that when they do stretch a little bit because all lines do stretch a little bit they'll stretch evenly so you won't have to like adjust your back line length so much as as you continue kiting and then that's the next piece uh, the back lines we basically made this super small but you can pull the back lines out and then adjust your back line super easy oh, yeah, so if you're down at the beach and you notice your kites pulling mm -hmm. to the right a little bit it makes it super easy too and what's your next big project here at, uh, at Nash Whew. Um, managing it all managing it all yeah <laughs> yeah that's the night that's the one thing about finishing the project so sink bars done designed now it's getting it out to the people and making sure it stays stays how I want it to be but yeah yeah um, we will help you with that yeah yeah nice. that's good I would love that nice. wicked yeah I can't wait to uh, to fly it man and uh, yeah thanks for the insights and a little bit of the engineering part here at Nash of course of course I wish yeah. you all the, the best moving forward yeah thank you and I'll just write a session with you on a, a while or something <laughs> yeah we say. should go that'd be awesome nice one cheers Noah yeah appreciate it Guys, Noah Hoffman here at Nash. Some more uh, technical insights for you guys so you guys can uh, stay safe and sound because your life is hanging on the line. So make sure everything is in check before you send it.